Hey Simmers is Passions, welcome to my channel and part 7 of the halves. Okay, so oh my god, I can't believe we're one more part away from this series ending. It has been very uh, fun doing this cute little series. I've been having lots and lots of fun and I, you know, can't believe it's it's one part away of being over. So in this part, um, we're going to go visit Margot and we're going to talk to her. You know, tell her um, how we've been feeling, how things have been happening, how things really happened. I don't know. Just talk to her and just, you know, get it out there in the open. You know, you know how paparazzi tend to to exaggerate on things and, and they tend to, to mix things up and construe things in a certain way that, it, you know, it wasn't really in that sense but anyways so she just wants to get the story straight yes uh her and her husband were having an affair of you know unfortunately um but at first when she got with theo she was not aware of it at all you know until you know she found out that he was married and had a stepdaughter and all that stuff but you know it was already too late by then she was already um, in love with Theo, and she found out that their relationship wasn't really real, that they were just married out of, uh, for show, you know, just, you know, because of his career and stuff like that, that they, they, they weren't married because they loved each other and they wanted to be together because if that would have been the point, then she would have not been involved with Theo. She would have just stayed with Devin, whom she really liked and, and, and stuff and try to pursue a relationship with him, but, you know, it wasn't like that. She ended things with all her previous relationships. And, you know, she decided to give Theo a chance. I'm like, he's pro he got engaged. She's pregnant. He accepted their pregnancy. He's engaged to her. And um, he promised that he was going to to um, end things with his wife, which he will. He will end it. I think so. So, this is what she chooses to believe. Alright, so, first we're going to um, make plans. Today's spooky day. So, let's see. Right here. She's going to throw a party. A little feast party. Okay. Oh, her cute belly. Um, there we go. So she's going to throw a little feast party, and then after that, they're going to, um, um, here it is, a feast party, and I think we're going to do a casual attire, it doesn't have to be formal, nothing like that. Um, it's 10 a.m. in the morning. So I guess we can do an 8 o'clock feast giving party. Yeah. I think that should be good. Um, let's see. We're going to invite Alexi. Devin, you know. Of course, Theodore. Diana. Johnny. Joanna. Uh. Todd, Katrina, and I think that's it. Can we invite somebody else? Hannah? Yeah, we can. Our boss, Ace, and that's it. Alrighty. So there we go. Those are our guests, and it will start at 8 o'clock. And right now... She is going to visit Margot. What is this? Sir, wait, where did you go? Serve home-cooked meal at a party. I think we can do that. I think we can do that. But right now, we need to go visit um, the Hats family. 
and talk to Miss Thing, Miss Margot Hats. That is the essential butterfly, yes. And then from there, she's going to enjoy herself at Spooky Day. You know, get some pumpkins. And, um, yeah. And just have a great day. And then come back home and enjoy a little gathering with her closest friends. Alright, so hopefully it doesn't take us all day to argue. We don't want to argue, we just want to talk, you know. So Dustin won't that old costume come over. What? I'm throwing... Oh, he's throwing a wild costume party and you are invited. No! throwing a party hopefully my guest shows up at 8 maybe his party's before mine's and then it shouldn't be a problem right I'm assuming it shouldn't uh, is this Miss Margo oh yes it is Miss Margo uh, amusing greet, ask for autograph, ask to go inside. Um, okay. Okay, first we gotta ask to go inside. Who the heck is this? Oh, Jupiter. Oh, I guess this is Cecilia's little uh, fling. Okay, great. She's inviting us inside. Are we gonna stand here all day? You know, I got things to do, you know. Okay, he's going to invite us inside. He's probably wondering, like, what are you doing here? And stuff, like, why will you come here? You know, please don't bring me any problems. You know, I don't know. Where is he? Oh, there he goes. She's so cute with her belly. She needs to, she's going to be popping out soon. So, we need to make room for that baby. He's coming. That's a, I'm assuming that's a stepdaughter and her little boy toy. Alright. Um, Isabel, uh, go inside. They're so cute together. I swear they are. They're like the cutest little couple. Look at him. He's like, what are you doing here? You know, I already have issues as it is. Why are you adding more to it? Please, go home. I already spoke to her. I'll talk to you when I get home. When I, You know, I'll call you. Just please, leave. And she is like, I don't think so. We are going to talk. All right. In a minute, if... I don't know what's going on. What is this crap? He invited us. Stop counting numbers in the air. Okay. Why can't we go inside? It's about stand over here. You're just standing in a in a in a. There we go. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. You know, the, I hate these little gates. Now I have to wait for him to come back again. It should be open. Come in. Great. 
Wonderful. Go in there. Perfect. Ugh, about time. There we go. Great. We need to hurry up. So I want to enjoy a day at Spooky Day. All right, Miss Thing, come over here. Now we're just going to talk to her. Hopefully we don't get into no arguments or nothing like that. You know. Look at her. With her pregnant self. All right, hurry up. Mm-hmm. All right, here we are. Did you know or did you not? All right, we don't want to be rude. All right, let's... It doesn't, it's not letting us... I guess it's going to have to be a rude introduction. We didn't want to be rude. But I guess we're going to have to be. Alright, come on. Get to the point. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. Move. Yeah. Do something. My Jima, goodness. Jima, oh, oh, Yahoo. Yeah, you're happy about fire. Good for you. Uh, hello. My name is Isabel Ruiz, which I'm sure you are aware of who I am. And I just came here to introduce myself to you and um, make you aware that I did not want... To hurt anyone I did not want to hurt you um, and I'm truly sorry for the way this whole situation has been happening attending a book signing yeah later and I am truly sorry I didn't mean for you to get hurt for anyone to get hurt but me and Theo we are in love we want to be together and um, we're having a baby we're having a baby and I truly didn't mean for anyone to get hurt in this whole situation things just happened excuse me I'm talking to you why are you walking away from me you know look at Theo what is that if she continues I will have to ask her to leave okay well if you think I'm acting inappropriately then I'm going to show you how inappropriately act. Um, how inappropriate I can be. I'm going to give your husband a heat of the moment kiss. And I hope you don't mind. Um, because between you and him, there's nothing between you and him. You shouldn't be getting jealous. You shouldn't be getting upset. It's not like you and him are in love. You know, what you two have going on is just for show. You know, he's not in love with you. He's in love with me. We're having a baby, and we're engaged to get married. So. Okay, what is going on here? Can we do this? Can you? Ooh, bless you. Alright, I think it's gonna happen. I think. If he turns around. There we go. Uh-oh. Look at, <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> oh, <Davido. laughs> you see? You see? She can't get jealous. She cannot, absolutely not get jealous. What they have between one another, it's 
nothing. What they have together is nothing. And what Isabel and, um, and Theo have, it's real. All right. So give him a, 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 a make out kiss and go home. I guess we won't be able to enjoy Spooky Day. So we need to go home after this. All right. Make out with him. And, um, yeah. We've said our piece. Alright, so she's like, uh, wh what's going on with you two? Why are you over there and he's over here? Yeah, don't make no sense. Two wagga two two. Oh my god. It's just weird, I guess. Come over here. Anyway, there's something going on here that is not letting them move, I guess. All right, we need to go home. We already said our piece. We already told this thing over here that it's over between them. He is going to be with me. They're going to get married. They have a baby on its way. And it's over, and she needs to move on with her life. So we are going to go home. Yes. We're going to go home, and what we're going to do is we're going to teleport to our house. Because by the time she drives down to the house, it's going to take her forever to get there. So we're going to teleport into the kitchen so she can start cooking. Let's see. Teleport me here. There we go. There we go. See, people are starting to arrive. Serve pumpkin pies. Um, open the gate for everyone to just walk in. And uh, she's getting to it. Do we have radio or something? Yes, we do. We're going to turn it on. So people can start enjoying a beautiful evening. All right. So everyone's going to be bringing foods and stuff like that because it's a feast giving party. You call that a party, whatever. I'm leaving. What are you talking about? You just got here. The party just started. Come inside. The baby's coming. What? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Lord, oh, Lord. Theo, where are you? The baby is coming. Where are you? Welcome to... She needs to go to the hospital. This just totally blows our whole uh, our whole party thing. All right, you need to go to the hospital. Wait, where is it? I don't even know if Theodore is Theodore. Theodore is here, but anyways, we need to go to the hospital. Ugh, somebody is flirting with us when we're just about to give birth. Like, what is going on with these people? All oh, right here. There we go. I'm over here looking for it. Have baby in hospital. Have baby in the hospital there we go sorry guys but y'all gonna have to continue the party without me I have to go give birth <laughs> what a crazy day first this one decides that she wants to talk to, to, to Theodore's wife and I don't know about particularly squat she wanted to talk about which I felt she had no business going over there but whatever and for nothing because she doesn't care about Theodore. You saw how they kissed in front of her and no reaction whatsoever. So that just clearly tells us that she has no feelings for Theodore. That their relationship really is for fake. You know, it's just for show. 
Alright, so she's pregnant. She's about to give birth. You need to go to the hospital. Why aren't you going to the hospital? Look at this one. It's freaking out here. Look at Theo. Theo, you need to take me to the hospital, Theo. Let me see. Where is her car? Oh, this is just great. Right. Why are we going to the hospital? Have baby in hospital. Okay. Why are we moving to have this baby? Okay. Your friends are all freaking out. Alexi, can you calm down, please? Calm down. Theo, you're here. I'm having the baby, Theo. Oh, I guess we're going to have it in our kitchen. Okay. Hey. I guess we're gonna have it here then. In the kitchen. Yuck. Alright. Alright, Theo, you need to step up your game because I'm pregnant. I'm having your baby in my kitchen, okay? So you need to make a decision and you need to make it a decision now. And that decision is you're moving in to my home tonight as soon as I finish popping this baby out. You're moving in with me. And I don't want to hear about it. Oh, we had a little baby girl. All right. Um, What can we name her? Okay, let's see. Her mother's name is Isabel. Her father's name is Theodore. So... Tapitha? 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 Tapitha. Tapitha. That's a cute name. I like that. Tapitha. Alright. So the baby girl's name is Tapitha. Tabby. Tapitha. Alright. Where's the baby? Tapitha Ruiz, of course. Just gonna take after her mommy. Oh, so cute. What? Wait. We just had the baby. Oh. I was like, wait, what? Twins? No. That just can't be. Oh, she's so cute. Look at that cuteness. Oh. Oh, she got her daddy's eyes, I think. All right. Uh, since, no, you need to stop flirting with me. Boy, I just gave birth. Like, get over yourself. Theodore is now the father of a new baby girl. So we'll just give birth to a baby girl named Tabitha. Oh, congratulations. Yes. This is just an awesome, awesome day. All right, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode here. <laughs> it has been a crazy part. It really has. This one over here with a crazy situation of wanting to confront Margot. She just really wanted to see what she looked like. That was the real truth. She just wanted to see what she what she looked like, and um, if it's true that um, Theodore and her got married out of convenience and not love, and she confirmed all of those things. Yes, she was pretty, but not prettier than her. And um, yeah, their relationship is just for show. There's no real feelings involved there, so it's great. So she doesn't feel bad the choices that she made with you, Theodore. She's happy about it. And in the next part, basically, it's going to be about Theodore finally getting his divorce and him moving in with um, Isabel and their child. And, um, you know, and stuff like that. All right. Alrighty, guys. 
So once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to sub, like, and comment. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. And happy simming and have a subscious day.